Hello everyone, my name is Ayoko Fushola. Today we're going to be looking at the book of Exodus, chapter 2 to 4, and we're going to be talking about the story of Zipporah. So I'm going to be summarizing Exodus chapter 2 and 2 chapter 4. And Exodus chapter 2, Moses um, escapes from Egypt and he helps the daughters of the priest of Midian to water their flocks because they were driven away by the shepherd. The Midian priest offered Moses shelter and his daughter Zipporah to wife. She had a son called Geshem. The summary of chapter 3 basically talks about how God calls Moses. She had a son. In chapter 4, Moses refuses and suggests God appoint someone else because he is slow to speech. God is angry at Moses but commanded him anyways. And in Exodus chapter 4 verse 24, and I'm reading in LT, the New Living Translation, talks about how Moses on the way to Egypt at a place where Moses and his family had stopped for the night, the Lord confronted him, Moses, and was about to kill him. Now, the reason why God was going to kill Moses was because Moses delayed the journey and he had already proven to be reluctant to fulfill the mission. In, in Exodus chapter 4 verse 25 NLT and I quote, it says, But Moses' wife, Zipporah, took a flint knife and circumcised her son. She, she touched his feet with the foreskin and said, I'm going to be reading this in King James Version. She said, A bloody husband thou art because of the circumcision. She now, this act stopped the action of God because, according to Romans chapter 2, verse 25, circumcision is indeed of value if you obey the law. But if you break the law, the circumcision becomes uncircumcision. Now, we have to understand that Zipporah's action signified loyalty. And when she called Moses a bloody husband, she was letting him know that he is marked by much killing and bloodshed. A summary of Zipporah's story is to note that Zipporah was a fierce and courageous, she was a fierce and courageous woman. And although her story is not one that is often talked about, um, she was the one that saved the life of Moses. She saved Moses' life from the wrath of God. So thank you so much for watching today 